So this is a short video designed to show how to use the paint effects tool in Maya to create the effect of grass. And we're going to do four things. We're going to create some grass. We're going to animate it so that it waves in the wind. Uh, then we're going to finally convert the paint effects into polygons um, and cache that out so that you've actually got uh, polygons moving in Maya. We'll get rid of the original paint effects file. And then we're going to do a little bit of lighting and create a movie file. So the paint effects tool is a really, really powerful tool in Maya. You can create all kinds of stuff with it. So let's find it. So I'm in Maya 2016 here, and I'm going to go to Windows, General Editors, Visor. Now in Maya 26, 2017, it's got a different name. It's called the Content Browser. So Visor has become Content Browser. So let's click on that, and you see there's all kinds of stuff you can do here. Now we could animate, if we wanted to, we could animate flowers waving in the wind. We're going to stick to grass just for now, but you could just equally easily use this to create a field of flowers up here. So there we go, grasses, and I'm going to select grass clump, and then uh, minimize this window. So now let's go ahead and create some grass, and to create grass all we have to do is do a stroke like that and we will get some grass. Now we can't see anything yet so we've got to go ahead and turn it on. So let's just go back to the standard select tool because <clears throat> we were in the paint tool just then and under show let's make sure that strokes is turned on. We need to see strokes and now you can see whoops just close that out. Now you can see the grass strokes in the perspective view. Now you'll see that the grass looks a little small, so let's go into the attribute editor and fix that. We want to be in <clears throat> grass clump one in this tab here. And if I increase global scale, I can make the grass much bigger. So now I've got some nice tall grass, which is much more the effect that I'm looking for. Now to, to animate the grass, we're gonna to have to go and do some digging in the grass clump one tab. So if I scroll down until I get to tubes, let me open that up, and the sub-tab behavior takes me to turbulence. Maya doesn't like to make this stuff easy for you. And let's turn on grass wind, and let's take turbulence up to, let's try 0.5. And let's just see what that does. Let me press play. There we go. So now I've got the grass blowing in the wind. So that's probably a little bit too much. That's going to be a pretty breezy day. So let me go to 0 0.25. It's better. Let's try 0 0.1. Great. Okay, so that's like a sort of kind of normal, kind of not insane kind of hurricane strength, but still a, 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 a breezy day. Now, once we've done that, of course, you can press play and get the simulation to work any time. But what we want to do now is to convert this into polygons um, so that we, can, we don't have to make Maya do the simulation every time you press, press play. For something like this, it's fine, but the more grass you have in your shot, uh, the more it will slow down your shot. So let's convert it to polygons now. So we go to Modify, Convert, paint effects to polygons. Modify, convert, paint effects to polygons. Now if we go ahead and look in, in our outliner, Windows outliner, we should see, there we go, we've got uh, a polygons uh, group, we've got the mesh there, but we've still got the, um, uh, the paint effect in our outliner. And if I press play there, you can see it's still blowing away in the breeze. If I try and delete this, I've lost my animation. So I had to hit, hit Z there uh, to get the animation back. Now, if we want to keep the animation but get rid of the simulation, uh, what we need to do is go and export a cache. So in order to do this, we need to do something slightly different. So we need to do, go to cache, a lembic cache, 
export selection to Alembic. Actually, before we do that, we need to make sure we've got the grass selected. So with the grass clump selected, let's go ahead and do that again. So we go cache, Alembic cache, export selection to Alembic, and let's go into options box. Uh, just make sure we've got everything set properly. And yep, the whole timeline. And now let's go export selection. And that's going to take it to our geocache, I hope. It now wants us to name it, so let's call this grass geocache and export. So now if we look in our projects folder, so that's documents, Maya, projects, graph wave, cache, Alembic, there it is. So now we need to import the geo back into the shot. So I'm going to go to File, Import, and let's go up one, Cache, Alembic, Geocache. There it is, and let's import that. So I'm actually just going to try doing this one more time because it's a bit of a fiddly process. So let's do this again. Cache, Alembic, Cache export selection to Alembic and let's call this grass cache grass geocache one export now it should run there we go now it's running through the simulation in the timeline and caching it out so this should work correctly so let's now go and pull that back into the shot so we go file import and there we go and I think that's the one I just made so let's import that now into the shot. Windows Outliner, and I should have a separate, there we go. So now I've got a separate grass clump. And if I go ahead and get rid of the first one that I created, I should have one now which retains, there we go. So that clump is now going to retain the original. Actually, I can go modify center pivot. And now we don't have any simulation to slow us down. And there it is. And of course, we can, uh, if we want to color it, we can apply a Lambert. So a sign, you won't be able to see this, but I'm going to assign favorite material Lambert. So let's call this grass material and then we can make it green or we can upload a uh, texture, whatever we want to do. There we go, so something like that. And there we have it. Now of course you can't change the properties now because it's been cached out, but it won't um, slow down your shot. You can, do as, you can do this as many times as you want. I mean, you can keep going and making um, more grass uh, and keep running the simulation and then convert that into geo as well. Now, if we wanted to do some really simple lighting, we could, uh, let's see, let's create a ground plane, polygon primitives plane. Let's make it nice and big. Scale it up. And let's do some really, really simple lighting with physical sun and sky. So I need to go into my render settings. There we go. Make sure we're in mental ray. Go to scene, create physical sun and sky. And now if I go back to my perspective view, I can do a quick render. And now I'm going to have a very, very simple uh, but effective lighting setup, physical sun and sky with some grass. So we could create multiple layers of this, um, and then we could do a batch render and export it as a movie file. So this is a really, really quick way of getting uh, animation on grass. As I say, you can do this with leaves on trees, you can do this with flowers as well, and it's one of the many um, powerful tools that Maya has to get some animation done in a hurry.